All right, Steven, I think I can see a little bit of that. That tent caterpillar stuff kind of getting going right there. Oh, well, we need to, yeah, look at these guys right here. Oh, I could even... They're, they're getting ready to, to make a big nest right here. Do you see this? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, this this one has a... There's a couple of big red faces. I assume that they're... Right over here, too. Yeah, this isn't good. Yeah. So, I'm glad I have my gloves with me right now. Because I'm going to go ahead and grab all these little worms. <laughs> oh my gosh, take a close look. They are just crowded all over. You can see some of the damage that they've done to this leaf. And they're just going to chew it right down to the to the stem. Suppose if we had chickens, the chickens would like oh, them. Oh, they totally eat these grubs. Yeah. So, oh wow, they're all the way up on up there. You always say that, you know, uh, if humans are screwing up, that nature comes in and says, it's okay, I'm going to fix it. Right. So what, 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 does, what kind of potential problems does this represent? I kind of feel like this, this tree isn't getting awesomeness. The next thing is, is you'll notice that um, the trunk has been modified. And, um, and, and here comes one of the kittens to demonstrate why it's been modified. I would say loosening that up is a bit, uh, that would help a bit. I think that, um, is this tree getting lots of mulch, lots of fertilizer, um, lots of water, you know, things of that nature. And then it would become so strong that these things wouldn't do it. But it's like, it's next to a bunch of rocks. It's next to, um, a roof with a gutter so a lot of its roots are going into a space where the ground is just dry let me ask you this and see if you have the answer for part of this you have seen the bedrock where you are standing so how much soil does this tree have to work with two inches <laughs> two to three inches i would say it's two to three inches where there's a bunch of mulch that's been put down it's probably yeah and now you have a cat clawing its way up the, the trunk. Two cats clawing their way up. I mean, I kind of feel like all this cat claw action isn't really good for the tree. Cats are gonna cat. They're, They're gonna, gonna do what they are born to do. Then now that we've got all of those caterpillars off, that branch is gonna recover. If we were to somehow make this soil be eight inches thicker and um, fertile, and moist, we would probably get a lot more uh, tree happiness, a lot better leaf count and things of that nature.